All right, good morning, guys. Uh, we're just driving in to that place I went last weekend. I got my buddy Alex here with me, so we got more eyes on the hills. And we were just driving up the road, and last time I said I saw like a herd of elk, but I kind of just saw their butts in the field. And um, how many think we saw? Like 60? Yeah, it was right around 60. Yeah. There was like two, they were kind of like broken up, so like maybe two or three separate, but like 30 in each one. So we're in the right place for elk. So now we just gotta go find a bear. <laughs> so apparently we weren't the first ones uh, up this morning. There's some people camping up the road where we normally park, back over there. <laughs> and um, we don't know if they're hunting or camping. If they're hunting, they're slacking because they're still asleep. So we parked down here and we're gonna go straight up this hill behind me that's super steep you might not be able to tell but uh the road switchbacks and we can get on the road right up here so
it's just, it's hard to tell how many tines he has on there just because of the branches and how it all, oh, it's like a, he has a full, he has a bad, <laughs> he has like one, two, three, four, but he might have little ones, you know, because sometimes you can't see the little yeah. kickers off the back, but for sure I think he's four, so he's not super old, but, gotcha, and he's, he's, looks like he's moved. Alright Ryan, what would you want to say to the camera? Um, we have seen over a hundred elk this morning and it's uh, 8.40. 8.40, it's time for breakfast. That's it's what it is. It's time for breakfast, except I don't have any Yeah, breakfast. and we're, we're just waiting for this bull to come out from behind these trees up here. Uh, just because we found Cause a good way to zoom in. Yeah. And we've seen so many cows clear. come through here. We're just waiting on this bull. So, and they just keep popping out. Yeah, hopefully he comes out soon. Uh, the wind's bad. It's pretty cold right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we decided to sit and watch these elk. And the longer we sit here, the more we find. There's like a ridge separating them, so we found another group. That's there's 20 to 30 in this group. And on the other ridge were the ones we found with the bull. There's, I can't count those right now because they're kind of in the trees, but there's probably another 15 to 20 in that group. <laughs> And these ones here just keep trickling in. They're like coming down the cut in the hill. And they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we hit a honey hole. Yeah. An elk honey hole, except we're bear hunting. <laughs> <laughs> no bears. Not no bears. I don't think we're going to find any bears with the I, I, Yeah. I was going to say, I have a question for you guys. What is your opinion when you're predator hunting? If you see a bunch of elk, do you just automatic do you assume uh, there's a bunch of elk? That means there's no predators, or do you think there's a bunch of elk, especially if there's a bunch of calves, a predator may show up? I don't know. What are your thoughts? That first group we saw early, like the first group uh, down the hill, it's cold. It is so cold. <laughs> It is super windy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there was like just as many calves as there was cows in that first group we saw. But yeah, this is pretty freaking awesome.
Hey Alex, what do you think about this snow? I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's like super windy. Uh, not prepared as far as clothing goes. And now it's snowing. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's partially my fault because... Yeah, Ryan told me it was sunny and he was sweating <laughs> balls last time he was out here. <laughs> last time the sun was out, as soon as it burned off that fog, the sun came out and it was hot. And then yeah, hiking like, out, I'm like, man, I wish I had shorts and a tank top. Yeah, so, so he told me to bring shorts and a tank top. That's what I brought. Yeah. I should have brought, like, my Carhartt jacket. <laughs> yeah, definitely did not think that uh, it was going to be snowing up here. And if the camera is shaking, that's because I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but these elk are all still just bedded. There's, like, they're all over the place. We still haven't seen that bull. We're trying to tough it out so we can get some sweet shots of him, but pretty soon we're going to have to uh, go to Hunters and Post Falls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go get some help from the restaurant. But, uh, yeah, this place is sweet. I'll show you guys, uh, give you a look. farther ridge over there. Um, in this first basin here that we've been watching. Well, it's officially snowing, and uh, it's starting to get harder to see those elk over there. We still haven't seen that bull. He's still bedded somewhere else, away from the ladies. So, <laughs> this might be it for us. Still no bears, and there's a whole lot of snow that's coming in. Well looks like it the clouds are rolling in pretty fast so time to get out of here maybe we'll see a bear on the road on the way out bunch of pansies right now walking backwards to keep our face warm. It's all the snow. The wind's blowing. The wind's blowing. I'm like eating it as I'm walking. But while we're out here you can see everywhere. You can't see that far anymore so yeah, we just gotta hike back to the truck and try to stay as dry and warm as we can. We'll see you guys later. Well, the uh, weatherman got it wrong again, and it's raining <laughs> a lot. Yeah, <laughs> lots of rain. And uh, we still probably got like about, oh man, an hour hike back still. So, see when we get back to the car. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Um, there's a chance I might get to go morel hunting with my sister tomorrow and then the next couple of weeks I am Gonna be gone and then I'm getting married and then I'm going to Hawaii. So I'm gonna post some videos 
in Hawaii, but they won't be hunting videos. And then we'll be back in June to keep doing the spring bear hunt we have until June 30. By then it'll be warmed up enough that there's some more places that we can get to because right now it's just snow. So, yeah, it'll be fun. All right, bye.